Hi, this is to go through problem number 10 on the unit two test review in the 2020 school year. Um, I made this problem too hard. I was kind of in a bad mood when I wrote it. And what I really should have done is I should have given you an initial velocity for the cat as it was hitting the ground. Because ultimately what I care about in this problem is I care about this period of time when the cat is making contact with the ground. So if I draw myself a cat, look at that awesome cat. The forces on the cat that matter are the normal force and gravity. So I care about this point when the cat is hit the ground and when it's coming to rest, typically knees bend when we come to rest and hit the ground. I wanna know about the acceleration and forces during that time period. But in order for you to do a motion equation to get that, you actually need to know how fast the cat is going when she hits the ground. And instead of telling you that, I just said she fell off a two meter high bookshelf. So it's like before you even can do this problem, you had to do another problem. We won't give you a question like that on the test, but we have to figure out how fast she's going as she hits the ground. So I thought I would do this. This is actually kind of a nice unit one review problem baked in here. So if you follow along, I think you'll see the logic on how to solve this problem. So how fast is the cat going when she hits the ground? What's her final velocity? Um, so what do we know? It said she fell, so we're gonna say VO is zero. We know she's falling through the air. So the only force on her during this time period is gravity. So her acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared down. She's falling off a bookshelf. We'll say she starts at position zero. And we'll say her final position when she hits the ground is minus two meters because it's been in the downward direction. So with that, I got a couple of V's and a couple of X's. That makes me think that the best equation I could do would be this one. Since I don't have any information about time. So I'm just going to plug in and solve and see what I get uh, for V. So V squared is um, two times minus 9.8 times minus two. So that is 39.4, which I only know because I've done this several times. You think I would also have memorized what the uh, square root of 39.4 is, but I didn't. So we get V is 6.28 meters per second. So that's how fast she's going when she's landing and when she hits the ground. So what we need to do now is this V becomes the VO for this problem. Because in this problem, we're hitting the ground and stopping. So VO is 6.28 meters per second. And in this problem where we're actually hitting the ground, V is zero. So that's pretty much all the information you needed to make the problem normal. But throwing in this extra cute little problem at the beginning wasn't very nice of me. So I might as well finish it up while we're at it as a nice demo problem. Um, looking at my free body diagram, I write sigma F equals MA. And I have Fn minus Fg is Ma. It's asking for Fn, I don't know it. The force of gravity is always mass times 9.8. So now I think I can plug in Fn minus 4.5 times 9.8 equals 4.5 a. All right, so I don't have Fn and I don't have a. So that means what I need to do 
is I need to solve for A using my motion information. So I've got V and VO. XO is usually zero. And X, it says she's bending her knees 0.2 meters as she's coming to rest. And that's 0.2 meters in the negative direction because she's continuing to move down. So I think the same equation from before, we don't have any information about time. If picking equations is stressing you out, don't let it bother you. Just pick an equation and go with it. And um, if it's the wrong equation, you'll, you'll end up with something unsolvable with two unknowns. So then you just pick another one and try it. So now we've got zero is 6.28 squared plus 2a minus 0 0.2. So 0 is 39.4 minus 0 0.4a. So I'll add that to both sides. And now I can solve. Thirty nine point four divided by point four. So ninety eight point five meters per second squared. Um, that's a pretty big acceleration. That's like 10 times the acceleration of gravity or 10 Gs. Um, I think fighter pilots would black out at that point. So this cat's hitting the ground hard. Um, I feel bad about that. I didn't mean to make it an evil problem. So Fn is 4.5 times 9.8. Excuse me, Fn minus 44.1 equals 4.5 times 98.5. So Fn minus 44.1 is 443.25. So plus 44.1. So Fn is 487.35 newtons. All right, so that's how you solve problem 10 on the test review. Sorry it was so hard. I hope you uh, learned something about solving this kind of problem. It basically was two problems, a motion problem like a unit one thing and then this is what we'd expect to do in a normal problem on the test.